will. There's gonna be carnage. Hey, man, how you doing? Yeah! Very dashing. What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name's Christian, and welcome to Serial Productions, you guys. Okay, I'm trying to be very positive. I'm trying to be very, very positive when we're talking Spider-Man, the whole Sony and Disney ordeal. Now, I'm still going to be a huge Spider-Man fan. As much as I'm upset with Disney and Sony with not coming up with an you know, agreement for a new deal, I'm still going to be a Spider-Man fan. This is not going to be like, you know, I, I can't ever watch Spider-Man again. I'm not going to read Spider-Man again. No. Best believe if a Spider-Man 2 on PS4 comes out, I'm buying that shit. And guess what? Sony owns Insomniac. Sony's going to get my money. So I'm still going to support Spider-Man no matter what. And I'm still going to support the Venom sequel. I'm still going to support Morbius. Because these are comic book characters that I love. Why not? And I'm not, I'm not going to hold a petty grudge. I just, I, that's not the person. And that's not you know, the person I am. So Spider-Man, not in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So where does the future hold for the character? Well, obviously, obviously, it's going to be direct tie-ins to all the other Spider-Man list movies that Sony had already established or at least planned to do. Because Venom, the sequel, starts shooting this year. And Morbius is already shooting. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if the studio tries to shoehorn in Spider-Man. Maybe a cameo in Morbius post credit scene obviously possibility but I feel like with the sequel to Venom they can most likely add Spider-Man in there you know what I mean if not a cameo like just write the character in maybe go through some rewrites and have Tom Holland Spider-Man and Venom like I can just totally see that happening and I you know and I'd be fine with it because at the end of the day I'm gonna support Tom Holland I support Tom Holland Spider-Man what Marvel, what Marvel was able to do in the MCU and really establishing and doing unique stories and just having him, you know, interact with other Avengers, other Marvel characters. They really landed the, you know, the, the, the humanity. They landed the, the, the Peter Parker aspect. They landed the Spider-Man aspect, you know, in the MCU. And they, that, that foundation has built and it's so strong right now. And I'd be a fool not to continue on and be like, you know what, I can't support Tom Holland Spider-Man anymore. No, because at the end of the day, I'm still going to support it. So, you know, even with him even shoehorning him in, into Venom, the sequel, you know, possibly him going to San Francisco on a little trip with his you know, Aunt May, and, you know, he runs into Venom. And I say this in other videos. He runs into Venom, right? And Venom, as a host, is always in, not always in search, but... If there's a stronger host, he's going to hop on over. And Eddie Brock, I feel like, is going to take note to that. He's going to get pissed off. Because if Eddie loses the symbiote, right, and the symbiote goes to Spider-Man, and then, you know, they have carnage, and the symbiote's on Spider-Man, then you have Eddie Brock. And that's a big old grudge that Eddie Brock is going to hold to Spider-Man. He's going to hate him. Just dislike him, right? Or... Let's see if they go to the route with the Venom sequel when they have Peter intern, you know, at a fucking, you know, some type of photography ordeal, you know, in San Francisco. And Eddie Brock is working there, you know. I can see that happening as well. So we really haven't landed the whole photography thing for Peter Parker in the MCU. I don't know if that's a thing. I can't recall anything of him being a photographer in the MCU, which is kind of a bummer because I do like the aspect of him being a photographer it keeps the character more grounded it keeps the character you know in search of looking for work because he needs money to help for aunt may obviously but the mc is a little different than the comic books but i can see them going that route as well you know even with craven the hunter you know some people were saying that craven the hunter was going to be the main villain for you know spider-man 3 yeah it's cool and all but i was like well didn't Craven get his powers from like an agent? Well, th th like they could have like literally like expanded on this in the MCU if it was still in the MCU. Like Craven getting his powers from the heart shaped herb in Wakanda, and that's how Craven, you know, got his powers. You know, little things like that that would make sense 
and move made sense for his Spider-Man villains moving forward. But I don't know how they're going to do this whole thing with, you know, not being a connection to the MCU. It's going to be a little tricky. It's going to be tricky, and I hope that the writers can really establish, you know, a great story moving forward for Tom Holland Spider-Man. Or maybe they decide to go the route with introducing a Miles Morales. Because I always felt that... I felt that Sony's best thing was to introduce Miles Morales instead of Peter Parker. Now, if Marvel Studios didn't have any plans for Miles Morales, yeah, that would have been perfect. Because Tom Holland could have been remained Peter Parker in the MCU for the next 5 to 15 years. Done. And then Miles Morales could have been on, hopped over into Sony's universe. And I feel like that could have worked as well, too. You don't necessarily, necessarily need to have Tom Holland, Peter Parker, Spider-Man. Miles Morales could have worked as well. So I always thought that was a missed opportunity for Sony. So I feel like a Miles Morales would have been fucking fantastic. And I really think that it's time to see a live action iteration of Miles Morales. Look at Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse. One best animated picture at the Oscars. You know, fantastic film. But who knows, you guys? Who knows what, you know, what the whole plan is? You know, Disney has still yet to say anything on this thing, this situation. It's just Sony who's been putting out statements. So... We don't necessarily know what's going to happen with the roles of, you know, Spider-Man. We don't know where the story is particularly going to go. You know, any more updates and things like that. You know, with Morbius, we should be getting a Morbius trailer sooner than later. It comes out, what, I think February of next year? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, we should be getting that maybe October-ish, November, you know, because that's coming up pretty quick. So who knows, you guys. I'm just, I'm still just pretty interested in to see where, where we go from now, you know, with this character it's going to be pretty interesting to me to see how they handle spider-man how they're handling you know this already established spider-man without kevin feige and marvel studios who really grounded the character and built such a, a unique style of spider-man in the mcu but it's going to be interesting i can't wait to see what happens you guys like i said i'm always going to support it no matter what at the end of the day i'm not going to be the guy be like i'm not going to see that spider-man movie i'm buying spider-man far from home that shit comes out october 1st 4K, you know I gotta get it. That's the way it is. Post your comments down below, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about the future of Tom Holland Spider-Man. Where would you like to see the character go? Would you like to just to see him in his own third film with Kraven the Hunter? Or would you like to see him potentially cameo in a Morbius or Venom 2? Post your comments down below, you guys. Thank you for taking time here today for watching Zero Productions. Peace.